Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about streaming an IP cam to a web page. And I have this so it works on Safari, Firefox, and Chrome. I'm not sure about Edge. And I'm working on a Mac. And this is an advanced kind of video. I'm not going to go over every single um, aspect. But so this video assumes you know certain things. But I'm going to talk about what I did to get this to work. So there's two parts to this you have a web server. And then you have a script you run running FFmpeg to convert the stream to something that can work on the web page. So what I have here is on this server, the 192.168.7.161. This is an Ubuntu server running Nginx web server, and it could be running Apache or um, any of the other web server software. And I have this HTML directory, and then I have live inside of that. So if I go to the HTML directory, we'll see there's an index file in here. And I've copied that the contents of this to this text document here. So it is this here. And this is the code on the web page that displays the video. So I'll put this HTML and the script and everything in the description. Or if it doesn't fit in the description, I'll put it as comments or something. But I'll put it down below so you don't have to like copy it off the screen. This HTML is in the index.html file. If you're just streaming to Safari, you can use just this here in your body but I'm going to delete that because I downloaded this from this URL, which I'll put in the description, and have this JavaScript that will make it work on Safari or Chrome or Firefox. So it'll work on any of them. So this is the whole of the index here. And you want to put your server address here. Oops. And then we have a path. And then we have this mystream.m3u8. So we'll, and we'll get into this in just a second here. So you create your index like this. And then I have a directory... So if we look in my website, I have the index.html, then we have this live directory. And inside of this, I have this stream underscore no audio and stream. And the no audio is just a version I made that, and I took the audio out. So we'll look at these scripts here. And this is in, and like I said, this is in the live directory. And this is the basic of that script. This would be the uh, regular version, not the no audio version. And what I have is I have this uh, number sign, exclamation point, bin bash. So this essentially makes it a bash script. And then I define these shell variables for the source, the video source, the audio options, the video options, and then the output. So the source here is my uh, IP cam. And you'll need to search for this. If I'm using an Amcrest cam and uh, other cameras will have a, uh, URL for that too. So, um, and, and you can test this on the command line if you have FFmpeg installed. Copy. And we're, we're doing FF play and we'll see this works, this camera works. So you can test that ahead of time. And then the audio options here, we have dash C colon A, and this is the audio codec, and we have lib F A A C, and then dash B colon A, um, 160,000 is the bit rate, and then dash A C is the number of channels, so two channels. And then for video, we have the size is 854 by 480, and then dash C V is the codec, and that's lib X 264, and then here we have dash B colon V, and that's um, 800,000, that's the bit rate. So these you can change, um, you know, especially like the size, you may want different sizes. And then the output uh, HLS is the to define the streaming. And we have the HLS time, and this is 10. And then we have the size is 10, the list size is 10. And then the start number is one. So I'll, I'll get the stream up and running. And then we'll look at this. This is the number of seconds, this HLS time is the number of seconds for each clip. And then the size is the number of clips, but I'll get into that in a little more detail. And then we have the FFmpeg command. So we say dash I vid source. So we're saying the input is this you uh, URL here and we say dash Y says overwrite any files that are already written and then we have the audio options the video options and the output HLS and then we have this my stream dot m3 u8 once we have all this the script ready and you'll need to you know change these for your IP addresses and such so the IP address of this one is is 192.168.7.161 so we'll run this stream and then I like I said the no audio one is just missing the audio because there's no audio on my camera but you could do it with audio we'll, we'll run this and it will write some files. So I have another terminal in this var www.html live directory. And we'll see there's this mystream1.ts. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess it took a second here. I don't know why, but um, you have mystream1.ts, mystream2.ts, and then we have this mystream.m3u8. And if we type cat mystream m3u8, we'll see here it lists out the mystream1 and mystream2. So what this will do is this will create these stream files. It'll say one, two, three, and it'll get up, get up until it has 10, which is our list size. And then it will overwrite the last one. Once it gets up to 10, it will go back and overwrite the first one and it'll be mystream11.ts. Yes. And if we go back into our HTML here, you'll see we have the 192.168.7.161 slash live slash mystream.m3u8. So this is the file that tells us where the file, the um, stream files are. And you can change these amounts. You could have more or less. So if we go into Safari here, into our um, address bar, we'll type in 192.168.7.161 and I'll hit enter and we have a live stream of the camera. And you can see up here the time on the camera. It's uh, you know January 25th, and the time is ticking down, so it's not paused. So depending on how you do things, you may need to start the video. Uh, like if you're using the other, I deleted the other method. The other method, it only streams to Safari, you'll need to start the video. This is started automatically. So we have the stream here, and then we can go into Let's see, we're in Firefox, same thing. We have the video. And if you open this up and it's not there, you may need to refresh your uh, screen. Sometimes it can take a while to get initiated and get going. And then we can go into Chrome. So I have it running in three different browsers right now. So let's say we want to change the size of this. We can go into here, I can hit Control C to close it. And then I can, it will remove these uh, my stream files eventually, but I like to remove them because sometimes you'll accidentally read them. So if we type rm my stream star, now we just have these two files. And then I can type nano space stream.sh. And I'll go in here and I'll edit this. Let's say I want to do, let's see, let's do half of that. So 854, it's uh, 427. by 240 okay and you'd, you'd probably want to change the bit rate and things like that but i'm just going to leave it so i'll exit out of this i'll type Control o to save it and then Control x and you'll need to change permissions on here um, like i said this is an advanced video so this assumes you know certain things for instance uh, to run this script you actually have to make it executable so you have to type ch mod space and then plus x and then the name of the script and that makes it executable and then you can run the script so now we'll run it. Okay, so it didn't like the size of that. So you you know you may have to test things. <laughs> but um, so let's go back in and change this to something else. Let's say um, 1280 by 720. Let's see if this works. Okay, so that worked. So now if we go here and refresh, like I say, it'll take a second to get this running. And there we go. Now you can see it's taking up the whole screen. If I did full screen here, oh, that didn't work. I'm not sure how to do full screen with, uh, here we go. There we go. So I record this at 720. So this is the full resolution, full screen of this. Another thing you can do is click this little um, pop out box, and this makes it a little, um, you know, movable pop out. So you could leave this up in the corner of your screen and then, you know, go about your business and, you know, check your emails, write your Word documents, and then say, watch your uh, security camera up here. And then you can uh, click on this to go back to your web browser like that. So, so this is the basics of streaming a stream in a web browser using FFmpeg. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you did that. And I'll be making another video. Um, it'll be almost identical to this one, and it's streaming from an HD home run uh, to a web browser. But I want to make separate videos because people will probably be searching for each of those videos independently. But uh, look out for that if you're interested in that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.